what's up guys welcome back welcome to another weekly vlog today is tuesday june 6th and we are about to head into my doctor's appointment so i'll take you along with me look at my new cup you guys so i am done with my um appointment so pregnancy update really quickly so um at the time that this video is being recorded i am 30 weeks and two days in okay um also i don't think i came back with the update but one of the last videos that you saw was me um doing the glucose test and i did pass it but my iron came back anemic which is something that i had always struggled with with my first pregnancy and then even before this baby but i had it stabilized but now the baby's sucking all the iron out of me so i am scheduled next week for an iron transfusion they actually scheduled me or have me put in the system for three which is the max um but i am scheduled for the first one next week so we will see how that goes and i will bring you along with me uh baby heartbeat is good measuring fine um also crazy thing so uh last time i was here two weeks ago i signed and i think that was also in another video i signed the paperwork for consent of treatment and if c-section or blood uh, transfusion is needed and i forgot to um ask for a copy of that paperwork so i asked today i took a picture of it but i didn't have a copy and i was told last week to leave it on the um the counter that they will grab it so i asked today about that paperwork and they don't have it on file because someone shredded see which is why i wanted to put it in someone's hand but i was told to leave it on the counter so anyway signed everything all over again today and i um have a copy another thing and i didn't want to tell her you know the nurse that said that like you were the one who told me to do it you know she has someone um like shadowing her today so i'm just like okay whatever um also so when i got the um call about my iron it was actually uh the lab lady the phlebotomist who called also that was like a holiday weekend so memorial day weekend was coming so you know that probably has something to do with it as well um so she called and then i also um came back in to test you know the blood again to make sure and then i got a call from the hospital um to come in for the transfusion so my doctor never followed up on the call to let me know but that was fine because i knew i had an appointment coming up soon and i also didn't get the results in the portal so i didn't know exactly where my iron level was but my iron is a nine or was at the time a 9.2 and i think it's supposed to be i think she said 11. i'm not sure on that but anyway it's a 9.2 and then of course going into birth you lose blood and all of that so we need to get the iron level up and i also need to go grab some over-the-counter iron supplements which again was not told to me over the phone and it was not notated or anything because the results never released in the portal so i have been you know trying to increase my iron rich foods but obviously that's not enough this go around you know you need double of everything so i will go get those supplements and have the transfusion next week what's up guys so we have made it back to the house um i went to my prenatal appointment my hair look a little crazy don't worry about it went to my prenatal appointment um picked everybody up from school right after that school's like right around the corner from the doctor's office and then i went to um take him to get a haircut so now we're back oh i was trying to show you guys my cup look at that 
my favorite color in animal print. Oh, y'all. Mm -hmm. So currently in this phase of my um, pregnancy, and it has something to do with the, the low iron and the anemia, my cravings right now or the things, sorry, that's just the water cracking on the stove. Um, ice. I always want to shoot ice. That's a pick a craving. So, in the women that are watching, you may know something about that. Some women, like a lot of African women, they crave um, these sort of clay and rocks. Some people crave ice. That's me. Some people eat weird stuff like cornstarch and, you know, it's anything that's a non food item. That's a pick a craving. And that's where I'm at with ice and chewing gum. I always want to chew. So, that's where I'm at right now with my cravings. I'll do another video at a later date of my cravings and things that I went through in phases food wise um, in another video. But right now I'm about to cook dinner and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. For dinner, I don't even have a name for it, but this is just another spin. Like if you, well, we don't have pasta every week, but sometimes that is a weekly staple in my house. But if you're someone that loves pasta, this is a different variation for you besides spaghetti and, you know, lasagnas and things like that. Um, something different for you. So, um, and you can actually use both type pasta for this, but this is the pasta I'm using, penne or penny, however you want to say it. I'm using this pasta. Okay, you're going to take some of your favorite pasta sauce. I like the ragu simply now. Less ingredients, okay? Like it says, eight simple ingredients. I know what's going in my body. Not all that extra stuff that they put in the stuff on the shelves. No. So you got your pasta, you have your sauce, and then you take Italian sausage, okay? So in our household, and that's probably why my iron low, because I don't really take, I don't eat a lot of red meat, okay? And that's good for your iron levels, but I just don't partake in a lot of red meat. Now, I still do eat pork from time to time. I still do eat beef from time to time, but I'm working on it, okay? I, I don't really buy it a lot. So I have Butterball brand, okay, turkey Italian sausage. So this is my first time trying this. Normally I get Johnsonville Italian sausage, which is pork, um, but this is not pork. So here we go, Butterball Italian sausage, but you use whatever you wanna use, okay? Chicken sausage will work too. If you wanna do chicken sausage, if you wanna do pork, if you wanna do turkey, it's you. If you wanna mix this all together and you wanna just load it up with veggies, do that too, okay? Do what works for you and your household. Um, also, I was over here prepping my um, my veggies, but you would take onion and some bell peppers. So I have a, I was in the process of cutting it, a yellow onion here. You can use red onion, a yellow onion, white onion, whatever onion you want. I have some green scallions for garnish. Now, because I haven't done my grocery shopping yet, um, I done ran out of bell peppers. Okay, that is not like me. But what I would typically have done is use red, yellow, green, and orange, or, you know, or pick whichever color you want, okay? Or omit it all together. But that's how I would generally make this. But this is a quick 30 minute meal because I have to take Jeremiah to practice soon. So making a quick 30 minute meal. I already have my pasta water here coming up so bowl is starting to do its thing and i'm going to take you guys along with me so i'm going to prep this onions the, also another thing if you don't want to use um a yellow onion a white onion or a red onion you can also use a um a shallot i do have one of those in the fridge but i only have one it wouldn't be enough for this so okay Okay guys, so I have my um, turkey Italian sausage in there, starting to cook and do its thing. I did have to add a little oil to it, um, to the pan, because you know how turkey can be very, very lean. This is not pork or beef, so it's not gonna really make its own oil like that. So I added just a little oil to assist it. My water's not quite ready yet, but we're, we're getting there. We're at a, you know, a nice little simmer. All right, and then I have a little onions, okay, roughly chopped, all right, nothing special over here. I think I have, I didn't use the whole onion, okay? I did three fourths of the onion, but use as much or as little as you want. And this is really just for garnish. Like I said, I would normally also add some bell peppers to this, the trio colors, okay? I would do, well, I would do green, red, yellow, and orange, but I'm out of that. That's how much I use bell peppers. All right, so this is what we got going. 
Stay tuned. While that is going, I did not tell you what I'm seasoning with. So, and you can season how you want to season, okay? So, onion and garlic, that goes in almost everything. <laughs> I got some Italian seasoning. I have parsley right here just for garnish, but I always use parsley in just about everything. I have some salt back there and um, some pepper, okay? Season to taste, season how you want. Omit, add, make it your own. You can use whatever kind of salt you want. That's just some regular, um, what you call it? Table salt, okay? That's, I don't think this, is this the, um, just regular table salt, okay? You can use sea salt, pink Himalayan salt, whatever kind of salt you want, or you don't have to add salt at all if you go on the salt-free um, diet or if that's what you do for your food, okay? So that's what we're doing. Okay guys, so at this point, I am going to take my sausage out of the pan. I'm gonna cut it and then we're gonna add it back to the pan um, if needed with the um, the onions and we're gonna, you know, let that go. Alright guys, and it is done, okay? You can add as much of the tomato sauce, pasta sauce as you want. When you saw me add the water in, um, I forgot to save some of my pasta water, so I just added some water in there. I topped it with the green onions. I've also garnished it with some um, parsley, and I added some of the grated Parmesan. What's up guys? Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to another day for the weekly vlog. I'm actually headed out to go um, get Jeremiah. Um, the kids have both the kids have early release the rest of this week because it's the last week of school. Praise God. And I don't know about y'all, but these kids today in this house could not get up. They think they on spring break or summer break already. Anyway, check in a bit. Okay, I just got in the car. I was actually gonna show you guys, but I didn't want to like get anybody's houses in the way, but. The air quality today here in the Hampton Roads area, um, it's, the index is 161, which is not good at all. Um, so what's happening because of the fires, wildfires in Canada, it's starting to spread. So we're getting some effects of that. Um, so it's a little hazy outside today, not very good air quality. I don't know if they're canceling football conditioning today, but Jeremiah will not be attending. He does have asthma. Um, it's not as bad as it used to be. I'm pretty
pretty much think he's kind of outgrown it for the most part but i still get his inhalers when um we go to the doctor for his checkups especially before school starts and he does always have an inhaler um in his football bag and i keep one in my purse or the car but we really don't usually need it but um yeah so just gonna go grab him and go to the pharmacy um, to get my iron supplements and my prenatals and one other thing and we're in the house for the day because the air quality is not good I don't know if you guys can see that but it's really the sky is really hazy it may look cloudy or like um it's fog but that is the air quality for today okay guys I was looking for coconuts and they don't have it on the um on the shelf let me see nope they don't have it okay i did find this dream radiant liquid um i've never tried this version of it before and it is in the shade coconut so we're gonna try that out Yeah, I did pass that. That was good, but my iron wasn't. It actually wasn't that bad to me. I had a fruit punch. That's what I had. It was so sweet. Really? That's bad. I don't think it was sweet. I skipped on my last. I skipped on my last I'm good. Yes, sir. Um, so I'm in my third trimester and my iron is not where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. My doctor told me to get some supplements. Um, do you know what's the recommended um, megagram? This for is iron? You said you're in your third trimester? Mm -hmm. Can I see one? So one second, okay. Okay. For you. okay, guys, so I'm done in Walgreens. I went to grab those two items that you saw. Now, I didn't put anyone on camera, but you heard I was speaking with the pharmacist to make sure I was getting the right um, megagram um, or milligram for me for pregnancy because I wasn't sure the doctor told me to pick up over the counter but did not tell me um, how much I needed to get and I saw different things variations online but I know um, you know you shouldn't have but so much but anywho the pharmacist did scan it and make sure that that was okay for me and also one of the other nice ladies in there who recommended that brand I was looking for liquid she said that's really bad it tastes horrible in her opinion and they didn't have gummies but anywho guys so as I was talking to the pharmacist about it there was a nice um, Caucasian lady that was like right behind me and um, she overheard the conversation and she was saying you know sometimes the iron can make you constipated iron does mess up my stomach which is why I didn't want to take it but I have to do it for the baby and also you have to take it with vitamin C for it to work and I made sure that that was correct remembering what my primary care doctor always told me so she was like um telling me I think she said I can't remember if she said India but anyway like one of the other foreign countries they use plum juice I know sometimes we think plum juice if you're constipated but plum juice and you know that's safe for the baby and she was like oh wait oh do you like watermelon can you have it I was like yes ma'am I love watermelon and she said, well, you know, you can try that too. It has a lot of water, so if you do get constipated, that will help you. She was like, you don't want to be constipated. And she was like, and how far are you? And I told her, and she was like, oh, well, you look great. She was like, well, I wish you a very safe and healthy um, pregnancy and delivery, and God bless you. She was just so sweet, you guys. God will always put people on your path when you need it. And, you know, just whether it's for the words of encouragement, you know, anything that you need, God always places on your path. Because she could have just stood there and said nothing at all. You know, she could have said that, not knowing if I'm a believer of God or not, which I am. But she didn't know that. But the Holy Spirit always leads you. And I just wanted to say that. Oh, also another nice thing that happened. Um, so Walgreens, you know, they have people, you know, how everywhere is pretty short staffed. So they had some people um, stalking and the normal cashier wasn't there. So they were ringing up people in the photo section. I didn't really pay that any attention. I was just trying to hurry up and grab stuff because, you know, it's hot out here. The air quality is bad. I just want to go as fast as I can. And um, 
there was a lady who was already in line and I was, you know, willing to walk behind her to get in line because she was already there. And she said, oh no, you go ahead. I saw you standing over there. You were technically in line first. Listen, she didn't have to do that, you guys. So, you know, small things like that is what makes the world a better place. Being a good hearted person, you know, words of encouragement, words of endearment, being, you know, your moral ethics, that is what makes the world a better place. So I just wanted to share that, you guys. Now it's lunchtime for me. So I was trying to tell you about birds being a spiritual animal you didn't say. So I was trying to preach this sermon before we get to your school. And I'm doing Baptist style. No, I, I know. Oh, I, no, oh, no, 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 no. They be no. like, in the Bible, ha, in Genesis, ha, with Noah. Ha, let me get some water for my throat. Hold on. <sighs> <laughs> Stop it, babe. Okay, guys. So I am getting some flowers for Grace. For her, um, part of her graduation gift. The only thing I didn't get. I think I'm gonna go with these. These are called palms or pooms. We're gonna get those. I wanted the lilies, but they're not. Um, they aren't fully blossomed yet. Okay, guys. So I already um, made her gift basket, and Jeremiah's is over there. Um, I will insert the clips of what I put together for them. Just made a little gift bag and just to add some flowers to add to it. And yeah. Okay guys, so I made it um, back to the house. Just putting on a little light makeup. Just a little foundation and um, concealer. And a little eyeshadow and a lip color. Not too much. So. I have a cough drop in my mouth right now. The air quality has been a little crazy. And I notice every time I'm outside or, um, you know, I start coughing. So, air quality is a little crazy right now. So, I just went ahead and got a cough drop so I can, you know, have that while I'm at the uh, ceremony not be hacking away. And people think that it's something else when it's not. All right, guys. See you in a bit. So, I don't know if i mentioned it but now the kids um so grace is going to ninth grade going to high school and jeremiah is going to um to seventh grade remember this you guys said that excuse me i got yesterday so it actually works pretty good it's just a different format but anyway guys so yeah just wanted to say that so i'm going to finish up this makeup and show you my outfit of the day and then we'll be out of here I don't have the camera in the best position, but quick outfit check. So I had this shirt for a little while. Pray on it, pray over it, pray through it. And my pants from my girl. <clears throat> pants are from my girl Shantia with the band duplicate. And then my tote today, okay? Courtesy is back. That was a gift from my birthday last year. Okay. Why the heck is she here? And it's a problem question, I'll admit. Truth is, I'm not quite entirely sure. Someone died. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Grace and Grace received a birth certificate, being on an honor roll all year long, and received a sit out to write award, and Grace is excited to know. What's up guys? I just realized I didn't end the vlog. Listen, the bonnet is on, the lashes is off. You know what that means. When the bonnet comes out, that means we're done for the day. <laughs> so I just want to come through um, and end this vlog. If you have made it this far, um, I don't know if you heard that. That's the kids acting crazy downstairs. If you made it this far, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share, comment, like, all of that. Okay, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so reach the new version of yourself would be to get a copy of my book, Golden Nuggets. Okay, it is available on Amazon, and I will put the link below in the description of this video. Okay, it is available on Amazon for purchase. It's called Golden Nuggets. All right, so... 
I want to share a little bit. I'm going to read a little bit from the book, but let me just um, show you a page. Let me show you the table of contents. Okay. So um, this book, it is four nuggets that I believe is imperative to help you navigate life. And you have the position nugget, the shift nugget, the play nugget, and the transform nugget. Those are your four nuggets. And then I have sub nuggets to tie it all in together and make it make sense. 